hi folks and a welcome to another episode and today I am on my way back to Scotland uh, I'm going to be up there for uh, seven days maybe eight days uh, long trip um, but the purpose of this video is to show you just how good the MG5 is when the weather conditions are slightly better um, so although it's only 10 degrees it's bright blue sh sunshine today uh, it's going to be a nice day and a bit of a, a range demonstration. Uh, right now I'm heading to the west coast of Scotland but on the way up I'm going to stop at Burton in Kendal. It's only 154 miles away. I've got 231 miles range but that's a good stint. It's going to take three hours to get there so I think a quick stop off there would be nice. It's going to be very much a fly on the wall follow me around at work sort of video if that's what floats your boat. So all right let's go. Please remember to check out our other videos and click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you get notifications each time we upload another video. Hi folks, that is me at Burton in Kendall. A great site, uh, six of these uh, high power chargers just there, which is great. Let me just show you my figures. Uh, I plugged in at 15%, it's gone up a percent already, and I'm charging at 93 kilowatts. Um, I can barely see the screen because the sun's quite bright. Um, now what, what I do find a bit confusing is, um, I drove at 70 miles an hour the whole way here, apart from uh, the roadworks and I've only averaged 55 miles per hour, done 152.8 miles and 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour. That's quite low, normally this would be four, uh, but we've been driving straight into the wind so it's cut the efficiency down a little bit, but no problems. 15% uh, I'm gonna be here for, I'm gonna say about 20 minutes. Uh, I need to get some breakfast, which I still haven't had, uh, and it is, um, it's 12 o'clock now, so. All right, uh, we'll get topped up and we'll see you on the next leg. All right, folks, that's the Zoe done. Major service, no problems. Um, this guy actually uses this as a parcel delivery van for Yodel. Loves it, uh, makes him a fortune and costs absolutely nothing to run, so that's good. Just wanna show you this. So I'm topping up here on uh, this uh, CCS unit. Um, this is uh, supplied by uh, Swaco now. Um, and it's great, it's charging really well, uh, and it's free, which is brilliant. But it's not actually that brilliant because what it means is everybody uses them and they use them in preference to charging at home when they can charge at home which makes them overly busy uh, and there's more wear on the machine so great that it's free but really i would i would honestly prefer to be paying for this uh, so anyway just going to do a top up here uh, and then i'm going to fire over to edinburgh so see you there morning folks uh, we are in edinburgh outskirts of uh, this morning i've got a renault zoe which i'm going to service and present for mot uh, for one of our fleet customers, a company called Electric Zoo. They're an electric vehicle leasing company. Uh, you may have heard of them. I've got cars all over the UK. Uh, and it is 12 miles away and 42 minutes according to my Google Maps. Uh, I've been to McDonald's, got myself a flat white, so I'm well prepared. Um, we've done uh, 365 miles so far um, and we've got a 50%, 57% state of charge, so plenty for, uh, plenty for the day. So, right, let's get on with it. I'll see you at my first job. Okay, so here with this Renault Zoe, um, belongs to Electric Zoo, a lease car, just done an MOT inspection on it, about to take it for an MOT. Um, so that'll, that'll pass okay with no issues. Um, and then my trusty MG is plugged in on charge just here, which is fantastic. So there's banks of charges here, look. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten charges to, all lined up. So, excellent. Right, I'm going to take it round for MOT. Hopefully it'll pass. 
that's the Renault Zoe all done, MOT'd and passed. Uh, I've now got a Tesla Model S for a brake lubrication, uh, 5.7 miles away, uh, 26 minutes. All right, folks, I'm here on my second job of the day. Um, I've got my power tools on charge just there because I've got some outside sockets. Uh, don't need to charge, so no need to do that. Got this uh, Tesla Model S. Um, it's, it's here for a brake lubrication service. It's never had anything done to the brakes. Normally these ones are the ones that are quite bad. Um, not so much on the rears, but the fronts, they uh, they catch you out and they can be uh, a little bit cheeky, but we keep all the pads and discs on. So I'm gonna be here for a good two hours. So I'm gonna get that done and then on with my day. Folks, that is me done for the day. Tesla Model S brake lubrication service and the Renault Zoe this morning. Heading back to my hotel now, 17 miles, 24 minutes. And I'm currently at 71 cents data charge, so that'll be fine. I can actually get a top up tomorrow again when I go back to do the other electric zoo Renault Zoe. Everything's going swimmingly. I'll see you in the morning. Morning folks, and today is Tuesday. I'm back over to Changeworks, to uh, MOT uh, Renault Zoe. It's half eight, um, I'm running a little bit later. I had a terrible night's sleep, two really bad nights, don't know why, but never mind. Anyway, it's, it's not far, it's gonna take me uh, 35 minutes to get there. So let's get over there, get that done, see you there. Uh, Zoe MOT passed, uh, which is good. Um, however, um, we've got another Zoe, which has got a problem with the window regulator. So we've got a new one sat just here. This has failed in the upright position, which means it's very difficult to get the window off the regulator. So what I've done is I've stripped the motor um, and removed the armature and the drive, uh, just in case I need to put it back together. I've just got a sneaky feeling I'm, I, I might have to, but let's see. And then that allows you to manually move the window up and down and then of course get to the, get to the glass just there and then remove the glass. Okay, so um, yeah, I've just got this to do. It's about an hour to do it. So uh, yeah, hopefully it'll work. Okay, that's all working. So good stuff, just gotta clean the glass. Um, then I'm heading over to Tesla, gotta pick up some bits for a job tomorrow. Uh, and then another job, other side of uh, Edinburgh. All right, see you there. Quick update folks, I am at Tesla in Edinburgh. I've just picked up a, a Model X HEPA filter and a set of front wiper blades. Very difficult to get hold of anywhere else, where well, you can't really get them anywhere else. So, so far the car has done uh, 395 plus 50, so it's done about 450 so far. Uh, we're on 90 percent state of charge and we're now heading towards Stirling. Uh, I've got a hotel there, then I've got an MOT in the morning um, and then I am up to um, Bankery, uh, so west of Aberdeen. So, all right, so I'll see you later on. Morning folks, it is Wednesday uh, and I am in Stirling. Uh, I've got a 27 mile drive and 36 minutes to get to Comrie Creef, I think it is. I've got a uh, Nissan Leaf up there that needs a service and MOT. So uh, yeah, that's my first job of the day. And then from there, we're going up to Aberdeen. So, all right, let's get going. So I am in Comrie Creef. Um, I've just done uh, a pre-MOT inspection and a service on uh, the Leaf 40 there. Just needed a rear wiper blade um, and just the normal bits and bobs. So that's good. Just, just want to show you in the back of the van. So that is currently the state of it. 
Got old pollen filters, window regulators. Uh, this is the boxing for the regulator. I've got a, a HEPA filter for a Model X in there. It's gradually starting to look a little bit more of a mess as the, uh, the days go on. By the time I get home, it's gonna be horrendous. Anyway, I'm gonna take this down for an MOT. It's only five minutes down the road. Uh, and then we're up to Aberdeen. All Leaf right. done, I'm just putting the car seats back in. Uh, I've now got a 102 miles to drive to Bankery where I've got a Model X for a brake lubrication service, a HEPA filter, various bits of trim and things that are broken off. So a bit of a, a sort of a, a mixed bag of, of work there. So far we've done 470 plus the 50, so 530, 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour and we've got 68%, so that's all good. I am in uh, Bankery. Um, so sort of to the west of Aberdeen, uh, regular customer of mine, third time I've been to him, uh, he's had top arms and uh, regular servicing, but now I'm back to do his uh, bioweapon defense filter, he wants a brake lubrication doing, he's got a few bits of broken trim and a few other odds and sods. So I turn up and uh, the guys, the guys ask me what I want for my dinner. Let me just show you his old HEPA filter, so you can see the colour of that. It doesn't actually look that bad, and that, that's probably because of where he lives. It's very rural, um, good air quality, uh, but if you have a look at the new one, and you can see the difference there, uh, I think these are worth their weight in gold. Uh, the air quality inside the car is just marvellous. Um, it's really noticeable when you get into a vehicle that hasn't got a HEPA filter like this. Um, and I think Tesla advertised it as clinical grade, so pretty good. Anyway, let's carry on, get the rest of the car done. All right, that is the Model X done. It's half past four. I've been here for a good three hours. It's had brake lubrication. Um, it was gonna have his pollen filter changed, but it didn't need doing, so we've left the pollen filter. It's had a new HEPA filter or the bioweapon defense filter. Uh, it's had a new set of front wiper blades. I've removed some damaged um, door guides that go around the rear latches on the rear uh, Falcon wing doors. Um, found a few uh, bits of uh, warranty for him. He needs a couple of new tyres, um, but apart from that, everything's all good. So uh, uh, that's it. Now I will be going from here. I thought I was going to Inverness. I'm actually in Aberdeen tomorrow morning for a Leaf and a Tesla. So I'm only staying up the road. So I'm going to go and get plugged in somewhere and um, look at get myself some dinner. So righto, I'll see you guys in the morning. Morning folks, today is Thursday and I've got a white Nissan Leaf for service and I've got a Tesla Model S for an end of warranty service. If you do watch our videos, you may be aware of this garage. I've been here before. Uh, this is had a brake lubrication service. I don't think I've done anything to this. Um, but this is an 11 plate, so this is an old one. Um, anyway, I wanted to show you this. This will be the only garage that I've gone into um, where I've got a pit to work in under the cars. Anyway, um, we had a little bit of a drama yesterday. Um, I tried, well, I was charging on a, a charge place Scotland charger, um, at Asda in Aberdeen. I came back to the car, it wasn't charging, there was a Nissan Leaf plugged in charging, um, and uh, somehow it had been stopped. Um, anyway, it put a fault into the car so the car wouldn't charge. So I've had to disconnect 12 volt battery um, and clear all the codes. Uh, it's now now working fine, but um, ultimately it's, uh, it's reset all my trip information. So I don't know how many miles I've done, which is a bit annoying. But there we are. That's the way it is. So that's the filler plug just there. That really is ideal for this mileage. That's what we want. Okay, folks, that's the mod less done. Um, end of warranty inspection, just the main screen, it's slightly delaminated. It's been done once already. It's quite a common problem, so it's gonna have to go back in for that, but that's the only issue. And the Nissan Leaf, uh, that's had a service and a reduction gear oil change. So nothing to worry about. A little bit of corrosion on the inside of the front discs, common, uh, but that'll be fine. Uh, and that's it, and also, I've been on charge, so I should have a 100% state of charge leaving here. So I'm now going to uh, Inverness. So we'll see you there. All right, folks, that is me north of Inverness. Um, I'm here to 
do some repairs on the Model S, um, brakes, uh, rear camera, and also I've got a Model X with a squeaky suspension. I'm gonna assume that is a top arm. Um, I just wanna show you my last journey. So, uh, 115.1 miles. Um, I've done that on 46% uh, and done 4.4 miles per kilowatt hour. Average speed, 38 miles an hour. It's a very beautiful road, but very, very slow. More frustratingly than that is when I left Aberdeen, it was beautiful blue sky and now I've come here and it's it's raining, but um, that's just the way it is. It's still 12 degrees. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to crack on with uh, Z Mod S and I'll see you in a little while. Um, I've done the Model X, which turned out to be a squeaky top arm ball joint. Um, uh, I've done the brake lubrication service on the Model S. Uh, and replaced his rear camera. Um, I was originally coming here to put front and rear pads in and rear discs, and it didn't need any of that. So just uh, a little bit of service work and lubrication stuff. So I'm now off to my hotel, which is or oh, 12 miles away, and I've got 100% state of charge because I've been plugged in at the guy's house. So all good. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Morning, folks. Today is Friday. Um, I am in. Tesco's car park in Inverness. Let me just show you. Just there, we're right at the bottom of the car park. I've met a customer here who lives in Ullapool and it was just a little bit far for me to travel just for the one job. So they decided to come down here and meet me, which was very useful. I'll just show you the uh, car. So 94% state of charge. It's showing me that I've got a range of 269 miles, which probably isn't really gonna happen. I am starting to see about 240, 245 average-ish, so pretty good. Um, let me just show you what I've got. I've got a Kia e Nero just there. I've done all the underbonnet stuff, all the door hinges, pollen filters done, seat belts. I've done all the in inside sort of checks. I'm just going to strip the wheels off. They want a reduction gear oil change as well, so I'm going to do that. Uh, and then from here, I'm heading down to... Uh, Inverkeithing, I think it is. It's quite a long way down. It's back down the road towards England. Um, yeah, and that's where we're at so far. So, okay, I'm going to get this done and I'll see you in my next job. All right, folks, so that is it. That Kia e Nero, uh, that's done. Done a reduction gear oil change, major service. Um, one of the tires down to the cords, and they had no idea. So uh, right now, I'm driving to Lawrence Kirk, which is 108 miles away. Um, but it's going to take almost three hours, because it's a bit of a convoluted way. It goes through the Cairngorm, so that's going to be a nice drive. So I'll see you in Lawrence Kirk. Good news. Uh, the guy's got a charger straight through his wall. In, uh, into the front of the car. I got here with about 48% uh, I think. Uh, it took nearly three hours to do just over 100 miles, 106 miles. So uh, yeah, long drive. Anyway, um, so yeah, van's on charge. Um, I'm doing a Tesla Model 3 power trunk with a kick sensor. Um, just stripping that down now. But the most important thing, been here, what, 20 minutes and I've already got soup. A massive wedge of bread. So being looked after in that normal Scottish way, so that's good. This is going to take me probably three and a half hours, um, so I'm going to crack on. And then from here, I'm going to Lucas. Got to do a couple of uh, bottom arm pinch bolts, and then from there, uh, Peebles. Got to go and look at the noise on the Tesla Model S, um, and then 
we're back towards England, so on our way home. All right, so I'll catch up with you in a little while. <laughs> All right, folks, that is this done. Uh, I think that's about three and a half hours. So I'm well behind now on time. Um, car's at, let's have a look. Car's at 89 cents there to charge, so that's very useful, so no charging needed. And I'm gonna get a move on, it's gonna be a late night. All right, see you later. Morning folks, and today is Saturday. Uh, let me give you a quick rundown of what happened yesterday. I didn't get my camera out at all because it all, everything was a bit rushed and it was, it was dark and it was very late. Uh, so I went and fitted a couple of pinch bolts to a Nissan Leaf, it took me half an hour, um, just the bottom arm pinch bolts, um, got that done and then I drove from Lucas to Peebles where I was looking at a noise on the back of a Model S uh, and then when I got there the rear pads looked like this. Uh, so that needed sorting uh, and then did that and then drove from Peebles to Newcastle upon Tyne uh, where I got to a hotel at some ungodly hour of the morning uh, so I had a little bit of a lay in this morning um, and uh, that's me now on my way to Durham so Durham is uh, 18 miles away um, and I'm going to be there in 25 minutes so next job uh, and we're heading south now so back towards home so right I'll see you in Durham at my next job oh, okay folks so uh, all right that is that Nissan Leaf done um, really interesting car that one because it's had a battery upgrade that the guy's done himself in his garden um, which has added 30 kilowatt hours of uh, storage um, and he's got a cracking range on it um, and secondly it's got a broken spring on the back so he's looking to get some upgraded springs but um, yeah the spring was definitely broken so from here um, I'm gonna be driving 36 miles um, I've got 30% state of charge and uh, I've done so far 478.4 miles since uh, Aberdeen went out to do a 12 volt disconnect. I'm not sure what my total mileage is and I've done 3.8 miles per kilowatt hour. All right guys, I'll see you at, uh, I've got I've got a Leaf 62 kilowatt hour to do a major service on. So I'll see you there. Okay folks, quick top up. Uh, Instavolt unit um, on the A1 somewhere. Uh, I'm at 23% now, I've got it with 19. Um, so I'll get it up to about 50%. I've got Domino's pizza just there. So I'm gonna nip in and get something to eat. See you guys in about 20 minutes. Okay, so I'm here, I'm charging. I'm in Guysborough, Gisborough, G-U-I-S Borough. Uh, just to show you the car, um, we're up to 84%. Um, I did stop and do a quick uh, top up at the Instavolt. Uh, so that's gonna mean I can get pretty much anywhere. Uh, and I'm servicing this Nissan Leaf on the side of the road. I've got the help of this guy, which is called Artero, Italian, and Elisabetta, also Italian. And um, we're doing a major, so it's a 21 plate, some 53,000 miles. All the brakes we're doing, um, I've just done a reduction gear oil change, which I've just topped up, and he helped me. He's been passing me the uh, the syringe, and yeah. uh, he was dying to be on the video, so I said, yes, okay, I'll put you on there. So yeah. he's uh, he's loving life. So anyway, I've still got the other side to do. Got to put the filler plug back in, but it's pretty much done. Um, and my next job will be, no idea, I'll let you know. So I'll see you there. Okay, that's the Nissan Leaf done. Now, um, that was actually a job for tomorrow. Uh, and I've subsequently phoned the other customer for tomorrow to see if I can go to him now. It is half six. And he'd have said, yeah, come over, let's get it done. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is finish that job and then shoot home. So I'll get home a day earlier. Uh, the Leaf, which has done almost 60,000 miles, is, um, uh, it had, a reduction gear oil change, a set of front blades, and I did the clicking drive shafts for him, um, which seemed to be the major issue that he was he was upset about. It was really frustrating him. So uh, I did say to him, look, it's under warranty. And he said, that's nah, fine. 
he said, don't worry, I'd rather pay you to do it. So um, yeah, we've uh, we've done that for him as well. Uh, so yes, it's all good. So now I'm going to fit a door hinge on a Tesla Model S, uh, sort out some wheel arch trim and rotate his, uh, swap his tires from uh, winters to summers. So that's 33 miles away. So I'll see you there. Hi folks, don't know if you can see me, it's a bit dark. Uh, let me just give you a quick update. Um, this Tesla Model S, uh, which I've seen before, um, I've just swapped his uh, summers onto winter, uh, I beg your pardon, his winter tires onto summers, uh, which he's got on them wheels. Um, I've changed his driver's top door hinge um, and he had a bit of an issue with um, this wheel arch liner on that side. Uh, just scrubbing against the wheel so we've done that uh, and that's it now I'm on my way home I'll just show you the door hinge actually that is the door hinge just there I don't know if you can see that but um, doing the normal thing where clicks clunks makes a lot of loud noises and um, he ordered one last time I was up here got it painted and we've just chucked that on took us about probably about half an hour so quite an easy job to do so that's it I'm on charge on the Zappi. I'm at 97 cents state of charge, and this is a guy who's let me charge, which really appreciate. So now from here, I'm going home a day early. So happy about that. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.